All right, here we go. Today, today we're going to talk about scale drawings. What's a scale drawing? What's that mean? Okay, it's kind of a smaller uh, drawing of a bigger object. So where would you see a scale drawing? Architects. Architects, exactly right. Okay, so we can have architects. Where, where is another way of, or another version of something like a scale, but not necessarily a blueprint like an architect? Where else would you see this? A model. A model, exactly right. So if you put together a model airplane, there's probably a regular, real-life airplane that looks exactly like it, right? The model is just for us to be able to take inside and kind of study or whatever. Okay, so a scale drawing is a model of something too small or too big for us to study in its regular form. So not only can we do this when we're talking about big things like jets or even a car or something, we could have a model of that and bring it into the room and maybe lift off the hood and, and see inside the car, right? What about going the other direction? What's something that's too small that we can't see that we would need a, a scale model of it? Germs, like atoms, perfect. Uh, cells, bacteria, those things. So we can either blow it up or shrink it by making a model of it, right? So what we want to think about then with these scale drawings is something called the scale. What's the scale of what we're talking about? How big it is, kind of. Okay, so the scale is a relationship of whatever you're talking about, whether it's a drawing or a model, to the real object. So for instance, um, another really, really popular version of this would be a map, right? If I looked at any kind of map, map of the United States, map of Europe, map of wherever, they would have something called a key down in the right hand corner, right? And then that key shows you the scale. And the scale is for every inch that I can measure out on my map, we're going to equivalent that to 15 miles. Everybody understand what I'm talking about down in the corner? So you guys probably haven't used maps as, as much as my generation did because of what do you do now? Yeah, you just say, hey, Siri, tell me where Australia is and how to get there, right? Okay, so you guys probably haven't done this as much. Back in the day, we actually had to figure some of this stuff out and use maps like that. So the key was very important for us, all right? But what a scale is, is just showing that relationship that you're going to have. So realistically, in the bottom right-hand corner of your map, it would say one inches to 15 miles, but I can turn this into a ratio, and we could then use this in order to figure out the distances in real life. Does that make sense? So where we go from here, though, is something called the scale factor. And this is where you gotta be careful because this is really important. And this is really kind of confusing. So just because they both, both terms have the word scale in them, a lot of people think, ah, oh, it's the same thing, but it's not. So a scale, realistically, you can set up a ratio where the units or measures aren't the same thing. When you're doing a scale factor, it's a ratio also of the sizes of that model to the real life, but the units have to be the same measure. So you got to do it from feet to feet or whatever it happens to be. So this is where we had to go through that process of, I believe Mike said it earlier, of the conversion stuff. Remember when we did that section? Converting one thing to the other. That's where you might have to do some of that today also. But that's when you're dealing with the scale factor. So you're still going to use this exact same thing, but you want it to be in the same measure. So basically, if I had this as my scale and wanted to turn it into a scale factor, I need to turn both of my units into the same thing. So realistically, we would want to change the denominator, the bottom number, into something that involved inches. 
So this is where we would set up one of those conversions. 15, 1, and miles. All right? So anybody know how many inches are directly in a mile? 5,280. So we got to do that, right? So if we were going to do our conversions, we would set up another one, and you know how many feet are in a mile, right? So if we know how many feet are in a mile, where would my miles have to go in this new fraction? Remember, in conversions, my units have to be what to each other? Diagonal. Diagonal to each other. So if my miles are on the bottom, my miles in, the, in my second ratio would have to be where? On the top, right? And you said what? One mile was? 5,280 feet. But I said we want to turn it into inches, so we got to do one more. And know how many feet are in an inch or how many inches are in a feet. So where what what has to go on top? One foot is equal to twelve inches. And so now if we start going through and crossing things out, we should end up with inches. And that's what we wanted, right? So somebody punch into your calculator uh, fifteen times twelve times five thousand two hundred and eighty. Thank you very much. So this scale turns into that scale factor. Okay. Basically, we're taking the number of miles and turning it into inches. So this would all be inches. One inch is to 950,400 inches. So again, notice scale different measures. Scale factors, same measures. All right? Where did you put the 5,280? Did you put 12 inches instead? Or did you have to put the 5,280? I have to go direct, or I cannot go from this to this one right here because I, I don't, the relationship is not miles to inches directly. So if you knew the number of inches in a mile, you could skip that middle one. But if I don't know it, then I have to do it up all the way through. Okay. So, a scale factor again, we're still making it fraction. It's always going to be represented by the letter K. Honestly, I don't know why. But every time that we do scale factors in whatever class, they always use the letter K. All right, so if K is less than one, your object's getting smaller. When I say less than one, that's a fraction like this scale factor right here. So basically this scale factor right here would be used if I knew the original or real life object or whatever we're talking about, and I'm trying to get it onto a map, or I'm trying to make it into a smaller version of model. Okay, so if K is less than one, Remember now, when I say k is less than 1, I'm talking about it's just a fraction. It's not negative. Don't worry ever about negative um, k's. If k is greater than 1, so if I did the problem but I flipped it over, so my original problem said 15 miles is to 1 inch, then my second fraction would be flipped over to be 950,400 to 1. If it's bigger, that means my object's getting bigger. So that would be like me having that model of whatever you said, bacteria in my hand, and if I x-rayed it or whatever to blow it up, I would have 950,400 whatevers to get it to a normal size. Okay, so if it's a whole number greater than one, you're going from the smaller version to the real life version. If it's uh, less than one and it's a fraction, like our example here, you're going from the real life to the smaller version. Okay, so realistically, every time that you talk about scale factors, you're always going to have two scale factors. Meaning, look, if for whatever reason we, we had our k was equal to one half, this would mean that we're going from the bigger one to the smaller one because it's a fraction. I could take that same ratio and turn it around 
or flip it, and then it turns into a whole number, and when k is a whole number, then I know that it's going from the smaller one to the bigger one. All right, so every single situation I set up here, but whatever we're talking about, we'll always have two different scale factors. Okay? It just depends on how you are showing your relationship. And sometimes they'll tell you this, sometimes you get to make it up on your own. Meaning, you can do it either way, basically. So, we want to look at this. So here's my uh, problem. A map has a scale of one inch is equal to eight miles. And I wrote that right here. So here's my scale. One inch is to eight miles, okay? It says two towns on my map, so I would have a ruler. Two towns from one dot to the other was 3.25 inches apart on my map. So again, when I set this up, I'm trying to set up a proportion. So I'm gonna use the scale that they give me and then the information that they also supply, I'm going to put that into my fraction. But notice, it said two towns are 3.25 inches apart. If it's inches, it, in my second ratio has to be in the exact same spot that the inches were in in the first ratio. So. We're gonna put 3.25 inches on the top over here. And basically then it's asking you, if I measure 3.25 inches on my map, how many miles do I have? And I don't know what that is, so I set up my, and put my X in there, or whatever variable you want. So, this is what we would have handed in today for our assignment. So how would we have solved this problem right here? And then we would realistically divide by one, but we don't really have to, right? But you're exactly right. So somebody punch in 3.25 times eight, and we get x equals 26, and 26 what? Miles. So again, I wrote this up here. Don't forget to label your answers in these. Now, before you move on to the next question, stop right here and ask yourself, does this make sense? If I was working with the map and one inch equaled eight miles and I measured 3.25 inches, would that basically equivalent into 26 miles? Does it make sense? Yeah, right, okay. So that's the first part of the problem. Everybody okay with that? The second part of the problem or the, yeah, in, in this example says, what is the actual distance, we just found that, and what is the scale factor? So now basically they're asking you for a scale factor. They gave, we figured out the scale, or they gave us the scale, now they want us to figure out this fraction right here. When you do this part right here, when they say, what is the scale factor? Use the scale given, the given scale, and convert into the same measures. Okay, so here is my original scale right there. One inch is to eight miles. I'm going to take one inch is to eight miles and I'm gonna convert, I wanna convert this right here two inches. Because again, anytime that they ask me to find the scale factor, my measurements have to be the exact same units. And it's just easier because I always want to go basically from the smaller one to the bigger one. So meaning, how many inches are in this mile is a lot easier to figure out than the number of miles in an inch. Right? Because if I asked you how many miles are in an inch, it would be a really, really what kind of number? Small. 
the number of miles in an inch. How many miles are in that? Really, really small number, right? So we want the big number. So we're going to take eight miles, and I want to convert that into inches. Okay? So again, exact same thing that we kind of did over here. So if I have my miles, I want to convert it to inches, but again, we don't know how many inches are in a mile directly. So one mile is still equal to 5,280 feet. And then my feet get turned into inches by doing one foot is equal to 12 inches. And if we come back and cross things out, Notice that I have inches left over. So, again, this is over 1. So multiply straight across what's 8 times 5,280 times 12. 106,800. And so basically now this number is going to replace my miles. So my scale factor is 1 over 506,880 inches. So in other words, what this is saying is my distance is in or using that scale factor can be found to get us to the 26 miles. Yeah. Alright? So, Realistically, this is kind of confusing, right? But let's try it out. A model car is four inches long, and the actual car is 12 feet long. What is the scale of the model? Okay, so let's go back over here. So again, the biggest thing is to recognize the uh, kind of the vocabulary here. When they say scale, I'm just going to take the numbers and put them into the problem. So what is my scale? My scale would be 4 inches is to 12 feet. That's my scale. Okay? From there then, they might give you a problem. All right? Now, there's not really a, a, a problem that I can do to this because we're already talking about the model and we're already talking about the actual size car. We can't really take that scale and make it into a different car. It's impossible, right? But we could then, so if this is my scale, we could go and try to find the scale factor. So basically, what we're seeing here is I want to convert these into the same thing. So again, do I know how many inches are in a foot or do I know how many feet are in an inch? I know how many inches are in a foot. So how many inches are there in one foot? 12. 12. So if there's 12 inches in one foot, how many inches are there? So then we have four inches is to 12 feet, or sorry, we're gonna convert my feet into inches. So if I have 12 feet, but I know that there's 12 feet in one foot, or sorry, 12 feet, 12 feet in one foot, in one inch, okay? We don't want to uh, necessarily cross those out in this case, but how many, if I have 12 feet, how many inches do I have in 12 feet? Because I'm going to multiply those two together, right? So then we're going to convert this one into 4 inches is to 140 I can't learn. inches. But now notice that because I have inches to inches and I have numbers that can be reduced, I want to go ahead and reduce this. So is there, uh, is 144 divided by 4? Is that even? Yeah. How much? Four times what into 14? Three, 12, 36. Yeah, so one over 36, 
and we converted them into inches would be my scale factor. So again, the scale has different measurements, the scale factor has the same thing. And we have to do the conversion. Um, you're right. I'm not lying to you either. This is a little confusing. Turn to page 279. We'll try to get this part figured out. So, when you say you're confused, is it the last part or is it the whole thing? Uh, probably the last part. Okay, so the first part, is anybody confused with the first part? Taking the scale and trying to figure out. What's that? Page 279. So if you look at, um, at the top of page 279, on a map, the scale is one inch is 20 miles. So this is kind of reviewing the whole thing again. What did uh, number three say? Pittsburgh to Okay. Is how many inches? Okay. So if one inch is to 20 miles, and we have two inches, that one's pretty easy, right? 40 miles. So let's try, give me the next one. Okay, so this one's a little bit more. What does one and three fourths mean? 1.75 inches. So again now, if this is my proportion that I set up from that, all I'm gonna do is what? Take this times 1.75 and it's gonna tell us how many actual miles it is. So, somebody got a calculator? 35 miles, okay. So that's using the scale. That's using the scale. Everybody okay with that part? Now let's try to scale factors. So let's go down to five and six. The statue of Zeus at Olympia is one of the seven wonders of the world. On a scale model of the statue, the height of Zeus is eight inches. If the actual height of Zeus is 40 feet, what is the scale of the statue? So again, when it says scale, I can just use the information and turn it into a ratio. So for number five, what would my scale be? So take what was given in the directions. What does it say? Okay, it's eight inches. And how much is the real part? 40 feet. So when they ask me to write the scale, I can use this. Now here's the question. Can I take these two numbers and reduce them, even though that they're different units? Yes, I can. So I can take this and just convert it into what? One over five, but remember, this is one inch is to five feet. Okay? So if one foot is to five feet, we want to now take this, which is our scale, and turn it into a scale factor. So again, when it says scale factor, I need to take this and turn both of them into the same thing. So again, I'm going to leave my inches alone. On the bottom, I'm going to convert five feet into the number of inches that is equivalent. So how many inches would it be if I have five feet? Sixty. Sixty. So my, now notice that my inches are the same. So one over sixty inches would be my scale factor or I could say 60 over one inches is also my scale factor. This one right here would take the statue and turn it into the model. This one right here would take the model and blow it up into the statue. All right. But notice, scales 
different measurements for the units. Scale factors, we convert them into the same units. Okay? Does that make sense? Um, another way to describe this would be how many people go to the eye doctor and you've got your eyes dilated? When they drop that little drop in them and they dilate your eyes, what happens to them? They get really ginormous, right? That's kind of what we're doing here with scale factors. So a dilation is using a scale factor. So it would your eyes would get dilated like three times the size that it usually is. Okay. So then your this would have been like something like this. Now it's not 60 times, but it'd be like three times the size. That out a little bit. Okay. Um, again, this will be just kind of a real basic introductory to everything. Okay, so don't crush yourself. We'll crush you when you get to geometry. We'll do this a little bit more. Okay. So um, there's one more little piece that I want to do tomorrow, and then you can.